We don't commit now. What's the point? It's always been said there are so many fish in the sea, but never before has that sea of fish been right at our fingertips. We can order up a human being in the same way we can order up a pizza. We think intimacy lies in the perfectly executed string of emoticons. We think effort is a good morning text. We say romance is dead, because maybe it is. But maybe we just need to reinvent it. Maybe romance in our modern age is putting the phone down long enough to look in each other's eyes at dinner. Maybe romance is deleting Tinder off your phone after an incredibly first date with someone. Maybe romance is still there. We just don't know what it looks like now. When we choose, we are still one eye wandering at the options. We want the beautiful cut of the filet mignon, but we're too busy eyeing the mediocre buffet because choice, choice, choice. Our choices are killing us. We think choices mean something, but it makes everything water down. Never mind actually feeling satisfied. We don't even understand what satisfaction looks like, sounds like feels like. We long for something that we still want to believe exists. Yet we're always looking for the next thrill, the next jolt of excitement, the next instant gratification. We soothe ourselves and distract ourselves. And if we can't even face the demons inside of our own brain, how can we expect to stick something out? To love someone, even when it's not easy to love them. We bail, we leave, we see a limitless world in a way that no generation before us has seen. We can open up a new tab, look at pictures of Portugal, pull out a visa and book a plane ticket. The point is that we know we can, even if we don't have the resources to do so. There are always other tantalizing options. Open up Instagram and see the lives of others, the lives we could have. See the people we're not dating. We bombard ourselves with stimuli. Input, 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 input. input. And we wonder why we're miserable. We wonder why we're dissatisfied. And even if we find it, say we find that person we love, who loves us. Commitment, intimacy. I love you. We do it. We find it. Then quickly, we live it for others. We tell people we're on a relationship on Facebook. We throw our pictures up on Instagram. We become a we. We make it seem shiny and perfect because what we choose to share is the highlight real. We don't share the 3 a.m. fights, the reddened eyes, the tear-stained bedsheets, we don't write status updates about how their love for us shines a light on where we don't love ourselves. We don't tweet 140 characters of sadness when we're having the kinds of conversations that can make or break the future of our love. It's just not what we share. Shiny picture. Happy couple. Love is perfect. That's better. Then we see these other happy, shiny couples that we compare. We are the emoji generation, choice culture, the comparison generation, measuring up the best. Never before have we had such an incredible cornucopia of markers for what it looks like to live the best life possible. We'll never be good enough because what we're trying to measure up just doesn't fucking exist. These lives do not exist. These relationships do not exist. Yet we can't believe it. We see it with our own eyes and we want it. And we will make ourselves miserable until we get it. And we break up. Another love lost. Another graveyard of shiny, happy couple selfies. On to the next. Searching for the elusive more. The next fix, next quick hit, 5 second snaps, frozen filtered images, 4 minute movies, attention here, attention there. Our lives are an illusion. We realize that this more we want is a lie. We want phone calls. We want to see the face we love, absent of the blue dim of a phone screen. 
We want slowness. We want simplicity. We want a life that does not need the validation of likes, favorites, comments. We may not know yet that we want this, but we do. We want connection, true connection. We want a love that builds, not a love that gets discarded for the next hit. We want to come home to people. We want to lay down our heads at the end of our lives and know we lived well. We lived the fuck out of our lives. This is what we want, even if we don't know it yet. Yet this is not how we date right now. This is not how we love right now.